on the Paravlog or in a very haunted town in America, Alton, Illinois. Right across the Mississippi River here is Missouri, a Confederate state full of slavery supporters, except for one man, Elijah Lovejoy. Elijah Lovejoy was abolitionist attempting to print anti-slavery publications in Missouri. After destroying not one, not two, but three of his printing presses, they had made it very clear that his anti-slavery publications were not welcome in the state of Missouri. Elijah Lovejoy then moved from the Confederate state of Missouri right across the river to the town of Alton in the free state of Illinois, where he could print his anti-slavery publications without hassle. Or so he thought. Even though Elijah Lovejoy moved his anti-slavery publications to Alton, Illinois to escape pro-slavery Missouri, he soon found that the Mississippi River wasn't enough to keep the pro-slavery Confederates out of the free state of Illinois. One night, a drunken mob stormed the building that his printing press was kept in. They burnt the building to the ground in an attempt to protect his printing press. Elijah Lovejoy was fatally shot. But that isn't the end of the story for slavery in Alton, Illinois. Alton, Illinois was the perfect location for the Underground Railroad to help slaves escape the freedom. But where were those slaves coming? To the home of Nathan Hansen. Constructed in 1857, Hansen purposely had the home built on a high bluff overlooking the Mississippi River in Missouri. He also had tunnels installed in the basement to hide slaves. But as they soon found out, the Mississippi River wasn't enough to keep the Confederates out of the free state of Illinois, looking to capture slaves and return them to slavery in Missouri. Was Alton, Illinois' link to the Underground Railroad also its link to paranormal activity? Does the running water and abundance of limestone accelerate the paranormal activity in Alton, Illinois? That's not anything I can answer for sure, but I can tell you that the town has got a dark history, and I would recommend that one day you experience it for yourself.